How's it going, guys? This is So Like You Know, the podcast your mother warned you about. Really wish that audio came through for us. It feels awkward just starting. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, are we, are, are we, are we good? <laughs> is it all good? Is it all good? But, guys, this is the show for January 4th, 2018. First show of 2018. I thought you were going to say... 2017. I, oh, I totally could have. I, totally, I really, I really thought about that before I proceeded with the the statement. Unlike that word, apparently. But anyways, guys, yeah. So this is so like you know, podcast mother warned you about. If you guys like us, don't forget we do a live show every Thursday, 9:30 Mountain Standard Time. <laughs> yes. Right here on Facebook and uh, Spreaker. Damn it, Wayne, you've messed me up with your penis. <laughs> <laughs> Phrasing. Um, yes, check us out on both of those at SOYK Radio. You can also follow us on iTunes as well as Stitcher, the smarter way to listen to radio. So you can get us our streams there and listen to us. But if you want to catch us live, there's really only two places, Spreaker and Facebook. So come on in, chat with us, and let us know your opinions. What's up, Jordan? Because we want to talk to you guys. We love you. And when people comment, that's my favorite. Dwayne says, that's the point. It worked. You did. It totally worked. <laughs> <laughs> it hit me real deep, man. Real deep. Yep. <laughs> Just reaming it out. Oh, man. It smelled <laughs> weird, even. Anyways, so... Getting weird. As you guys know, we like to start out our show... Oh, yeah. I'm Bo. I'm JP. <laughs> And we're going to be drinking beer today. Yay! JP, what's we drinking? Tonight, we are drinking... What's your DJ? Card card Your Mom from Caution Brewing with a 6.9 ABV. It is a Saison. We've created an amazing farmhouse style Saison. How do you say that? Saison. 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 With an addition of uh, cardamom seeds in the boil, complete with an aroma filled with everything that embodies a great saison, plus the exotic flavors of cardamom. Cardamom. Pretty sure I'm saying that. Known as the mother of all spices, cardamom incorporates lemon, mint, pepper, and floral notes. Perhaps the most complex saison that you've ever had, and we won't be offended when you ask your mom. For her card. All right. Well, hopefully this is very delicious because saisons are one of my most favoritest beers. They are super delicious. Jordan, I see your penis. Just because you yell it doesn't make it bigger. (laughs) But anyways, guys. Yeah. So hopefully this is most delicious and awesome. But you know what else is awesome? One of our sponsors. That's Hangins. H-A-N-G-I-N-Z. If you guys are looking to protect your $1,000 investment, a.k.a. your phone, you should probably pick up your hangings today. It's an awesome device that attaches to any phone with a case, allowing you to strap it to your neck, your wrist, your purse, your backpack to keep it from falling to the ground. It's only $4.99 with free shipping, so just go to the website, so like you know, com. click on the link on the bottom right-hand side, and pick up your hangings today. That's hangings. H-A-N-G-I-N-Z. Mm. Moving forward, we got Slick Feed. Where we geek on your week. Yeah, boy. Shell's not here at the moment. <laughs> yes. Ah, yes. Uh, Shell is not with us currently. Um, she's still making her way from the other side. Technical difficulties. <laughs> uh, AKA Windows is doing an update. Oh, Windows. That's so silly. Yeah. It, was just, it was just like your old tower. It was yeah. Just like, I don't know what. Your like, old tower was like, okay, we have to update. We have to update now. But you, you would schedule it, though. Like... To do it not on Thursdays. Mm-hmm. It was like, do this on Wednesday. And it would still do it on Thursday. <laughs> and it was like, halfway through the show, <laughs> it was like, boop, shutting down. I was like, well, we lost Spreaker. I was like, hello, Facebook. How how you doing? How's it hey, going? Hey, how's, how's it going? Yeah. What's up, Liz? Happy New Year. Yes, it is a new year. Um, you know what else is $1,000? What? A purple mattress. A queen size purple mattress. Oh, shut up. <laughs> and I'm getting that tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> you think you're going to get to sleep in it, but I know how to pick locks. Uh-huh. And You'll have to get past the vicious guard dog. The, the, 
I will handcuff you somewhere away from the bed, which is not normally what someone would probably say to you, and then I'm going to steal your bed. <laughs> not if Justin's already there. Just I'm just here testing it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bosses show up tomorrow. Why is no one here at all? I think they're I all think on Taylor. JB's bed. I think Taylor said he was going to be. Oh, I'm in. going into work tomorrow. Oh. You fools. Nothing will get done. Yeah, I know. We're missing shit. Anyways, you know what? I know you love us. And you want to hear us talk more. And we're going to tell you about Intel's major flaw. Yeah, so um, a processor flaw that has been in all of Intel chips for the last decade. Here comes Wayne going, ha 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 ha. Shut up. (laughs) Uh, Has made them vulnerable to hackers, which sucks. Um, they do have an update that's coming, that's going to be pushed out to Mac and Windows. Um, just Mac and Windows. Uh, I don't know about Linux users or anything like that, hopefully. Um, but the update is supposed to slow your, or possibly, slow your computer down up to 30%. The older ones, though. Well, older ones. I'm sure I'll still see, like, a 5% drop. I'm sure you want to hear this, but handcuffs chafe too much. I read it. Not that I would know. (laughs) I read it. Um, So, yeah. It's going to really suck. Yeah. So, hopefully it... uh, Ten years back, like, those computers are affected. I don't even remember what happened with what I did. I think I was still in the military ten years ago. (laughs) Ten years ago. I just got my first computer. Yeah, it was in the military. Yeah, so that is that. That is that Intel that's sitting in the garage on top of the speakers. That's my first laptop I ever get. And it still runs. You know why? Because it's Dell. Dell just works forever. <laughs> DJ says, you had me worried there for a bit with that Intel news. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's one of those things that's going to hit older computers. So I can't it's, imagine... It's, it's a... Processor that affects even computers now. Yes, they just they're plugging the with the update. Yeah, yeah. So it's like JP said. If I didn't clarify that well, it's all computers in the last ten years that are Intel are affected, but it slows it up to thirty percent. It doesn't mean every computer is going to be you know taking a thirty percent kick. I think the newer ones should be fine. Yeah, yeah like your your gaming rig setup, DJs. Yeah, it's it's good. It's good. Yeah, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. You got that beast of a system. <laughs> um, <coughs> but so yeah, the uh, the vulnerability actually leaves the passwords that are stored in the uh, kernels on the processor can actually be accessed and stolen. So yeah, extremely unfortunate. But it's not unfortunate for everyone. Those of you who have AMD stocks, you just saw a 6% rise recently. I'm a little sad I just literally got rid of mine like a month ago. <laughs> a month ago, I sold all my AMD stocks, so I was like, oh, these guys are dipping hard. I I they always, they always bounce, bounce back, depending on, like, well, this latest one, their their latest Radeon, like, couldn't compete with the 1080. Yeah. At all. I was like, oh, it's out a year later. I was like, and they still fucked it up. Mm-hmm. I was like, come on. Yep. Come on. So, I mean, you can only do your best. I mean, I, AMD is one of those ones that really goes up and down. Because they try their best. They're just going to, like, throw all of it. Put everything in there. All the cores. It's going to be fast. <laughs> and then they realize, oh, well, shit. All these cores really don't matter. And people realize that, and then, then their stock plummets. I mean, but I hear Ryzen is actually a pretty awesome chip, so, you know, I'm not going to bash on that. Um, it's just every AMD computer I've had or dealt with dies so much faster than Intel. I don't know what it is. Maybe just because they run harder. It like Kind of like, you know, old runners. They run their whole life. They're like, I'm healthy, I'm going to live forever! And then they die. At like 56 because they overused themselves. <laughs> oh, hi, Shell. Um, oh, what's up, Casey? Hello. Hey, what's up? DJ says Minesweeper HD. Uh, I don't know about that. Seems a little aggressive. Hey, where? where's Turok? I don't know. 
I didn't, Where'd it go? I didn't do anything with Turok. I put it in there. Did it get moved? Turok HD. It's a remaster. Yeah, but I had it typed in here, and it disappeared. I didn't do anything with it. I typed it. Did Where'd it go? I did. I typed it out, because I was excited for it. But it's only an Xbox One. <laughs> I'm still going to talk about it, because it's still gone. Fucker. Um... Holy shit, it's only 19%. Oh my god. Shell, what is wrong with your computer? You need to bring it with you next time. It needs help. Um, <laughs> we need an old priest and a young priest. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so... Anyways. What are we talking about? Oh! Um, yeah, Turok, since we're on the thing. Turok is getting an HD remake that's coming out next year? What are we talking about? Possibly next year. Possibly next year. We have this. I had this typed out. You were telling me, and I was typing. I swear. <laughs> What's up, Tara? So yeah, Turok is getting an HD remake that is coming out uh, hopefully next year. Um, they said it's going to be based on a new engine and uh, similar maps. But all they know is I'm super excited to go over to JP's house and play it on his Xbox One since I don't freaking have one. It's the only game I now want an Xbox One for. <laughs> Just stupid. Um, what is this? Hello, I'm following your show now. Well, thank you, Information Man Joe. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, is an equal access to the internet your government corporation and FCC playing an attack on YouTube? Yeah, we know. We know that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's an ironic title, Mr. Information Man Joe. But that's all right. We'll go over that later. Ah, shell. Wow, that's 90%. That's pretty quick. How did you? How did you go? F- yeah. How did you go from nineteen percent to a hundred? I didn't. I skyped you from my phone. Uh, uh, do you know it sounds so much better than that headset? Does it? Yeah, like <laughs> a massively better. Maybe this is just what I do then. <laughs> it, it might have to be. You sound super clear. <laughs> That's good. So, yeah. I gave up and. Walked away from it, and yes, it needs an exorcism. Yeah, hardcore, hardcore. Young and old priest like JP says. <laughs> Maybe a middle-aged priest. Um, but yeah, so that stuff. So Turok, uh, what else do we got? Oh, DCC 2018 announcements. Um, so I know we haven't talked about this yet much, but it's going to be happening June 15th through the 17th of 2018. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm always excited. I love Denver Comic Con. It's definitely one of my favorite cons of all the ones I've been to. Um, we got to go to that adult anime con that yes. Nerdfeed went to. Yes, we do. <laughs> I was just like, damn it, Nerdfeed. You're <laughs> in the best things. <laughs> it just sounds like fun. So, I don't know. If you guys haven't checked out Nerdfeed, you really should. They're awesome, and they do a lot of cool interviews with a lot of bunch of guests. So, check them out. Um... But yes, so as with last year uh, with Denver Comic Con, the tickets are selling quick. So don't miss out. Speed passes are already gone. They are gone currently. I'm not saying like they're they're getting low. They're gone. So um, I don't remember when tickets sold out last year, but I feel like it was a good three months before con even happened. Or two months. Tara would remember. <laughs> so... Um, but yeah, so they're going to have guests, Alan Tiddick, uh, Luke Perry, which seemed weird at first, but then we Google it and realize, oh, he's actually been in a few things. Yeah. <laughs> so between voice acting, um, he was in The Fifth Element in the very beginning, which I totally forgot. Uh, what else did you see? Um, it's from Archie... Riverdale? Yeah, Riverdale. Riverdale. So um, then we also got Jason David Frank, a.k.a. the Green Power Ranger, and for some reason it's not there, damn it. Ha! <laughs> uh, Scott Snyder, who is a DC comic writer, he did um, Batman Detective Comics um, and some of the other Batman series. And so we'll see. That's that's super cool. Um, and then Lucy Pohl, who plays Mercy, who voices Mercy on Overwatch. Yeah, awesome. I need a picture of Mercy signed by her. Now I just need May. I really need May. <laughs> just come sign make me happy um and then daniel logan who probably no one knows who that name is but that is young boba fett 
So, from the Star Wars movies from 10, 15 years ago? 15 years ago? Young Boba Fett, though? Yeah, Young Boba Fett. You mean, like, the prequels? Like, Jingo Fett's kid. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just like, what? 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 That's very, <laughs> that's very a weird thing to, <laughs> yeah. to plug. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's weird, but, you know, it's cool. So, I mean, if you guys are excited to check that out, um, see what he's been up to for the last forevers. Um, yeah, so, but, Denver Comic Con's coming up, actually pretty quick, um, Tara says she's excited about Alan Tiddick again, he had the best panel she's ever seen, I didn't get to see it, so I'll make sure I don't miss out on this year, um, DJ says that's an odd one, anything more recent, I mean, Alan Tiddick is recent, um, then Lucy Pohl, that's for sure, so, who's in Star Trek Continues, oh, that weird little thing, Star Wars Underworld? It's a t TV series announced in 28... Or this year. I have not heard of that one. Uh, Sharknado 4, The Fourth Awakening. Oh. In the TV series, Young Boba Fett? No, he like in the movie. But he plays the voice of Boba Fett. Yeah, but see? Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, Boba Fett. 2002! Jesus, guys. <laughs> <laughs> a little in the past... Um, sorry, I forgot to put the beer up. In case you guys are just joining, we are drinking um, from Caution Brewing Card Your Mother beer. Card Your Mom. Card Your Mom. Card Your Mom. Card Your Mom. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> Funny. Um, so yeah, so you guys can check that out. Uh, I know we're going to be at Denver Comic Con one way or the other. Uh, the media release stuff hasn't been out yet, but we go. We go regardless, because it's Denver Comic Con. Um, now this last thing seems super yeah. weird. <laughs> Thought it was an onion article. This last thing it seems super cool. So 2018, there's going to be all sorts of like cool space stuff to watch for, like a uh, Chinese space station is crashing to the Earth's surface. <laughs> um, we have talked about that before. Yep. Um they are saying that that's probably going to happen, like, uh, end of March, beginning of April. Um, it's kind of, it's hard to judge where it's going to land, but mm -hmm. it's mostly in the water. <laughs> hopefully. Um, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's unpredictable. Um, but Chinese space. So China is actually planning to land and grow plants on the dark side of the moon. Um, so the mission is called Change 4. And it will be China's fourth trip to the moon. Um, they had two orbiters in 2007 and 2010, and a rover in 2013. The mission is going to be two parts. Uh, the first is going to launch in probably June. It'll be a relay satellite, because on the dark side of the moon, there's no way for the... Uh, communications. The, like, communi yeah, the communications to transmit back to Earth's surface, because it's on the... It's on the other side of the moon, like it's blocked. Mm -hmm. So there'll be a relay satellite that they're going to send up first. Yeah, and DJ says it. In, DJ um, says it sounds like a uh, horror movie plot. Yeah, no, it sounds great though. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that'll act like a, and then it'll be in the lunar orbit, so we'll be able to like communicate with that. And then the far side is blocked from Earth's view, um, and they're going to be sending. Uh, it's basically like. It'll be a lander and a rover, and uh, in the lander, they are uh, going to be placing uh, plants and some insects <laughs> in it to, like, potatoes and silkworms, and they're going to try to grow them at, on the dark side of the moon. Two. Even though, like, technically both sides of the moon actually do get light, mm -hmm. that's the side that's away from us. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, and the cool thing about this too is like the event is actually going to be live streamed for the public back to, back on earth to watch. Which is pretty exciting. I mean, <laughs> you're like, not going to see anything. <laughs> yeah. We're going to live stream the, the like lunar growing operation. <laughs> like I'm, I'm imagining literally just like, like the moon just slowly starting to like, you see, like, a virus almost growing across it, where it sees, like, the city is starting to pop up on the moon. Right. It could be real creepy. 
It's Real like, you know, creepy. in like the cartoons where they have like the sea monkeys where they're just like floating around in the water and then like they look back a little bit while later and it's like a whole like colony. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know, that would be pretty exciting. I mean, we've been waiting for a moon colony forever, especially since Moonraker. Right. So, well, I mean, like, we're also, like, uh, we're, they're going to be revisiting, I don't know if it's China per se, but, like, space-related missions. Um, they will be visiting, trying to visit Mercury again, um, the SpaceX Falcon something or another, or a Hawk or something like that is going to happen. SpaceX year. Falcon 9. Falcon 9, maybe that's what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when know. you said the name of it, it's change apostrophe e. Yes. I, so I, I'm not sure if it's change or if it's change, <laughs> change or chingy. chingy. <laughs> I hope it's not chingy because well, every white man like me is going to sound really racist. You heard about that well, that chingy right. space station? <laughs> That's what I'm hoping not for. Or shame. Right? Like, I feel bad saying it right now. <laughs> uh, whatever. <laughs> huh? Chinese. Oh, it is actually Ching, Chinese. Chingy. Chingy? Ching, ching. It's not any better! Go, go to Google Translate. It's Chinese, and it means change, but... <laughs> And we're just gonna change four. Like, <laughs> like you can play it. Well, I don't know if I mean it means change, but the, like it didn't show anything different. But you can play it like how it's supposed to sound. I'm just gonna play it really loud. And... In English, it's it's Chenga. 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 Mm -hmm. This is that a rapper? <laughs> uh, Cheng pronouns. Every time I type, like, this just pronounce, I immediately think of, like, how to pronounce just words. Just go straight to Google, just go straight to Google Translate. Okay. Type it in. Okay. And, okay. like, hit the little sound box. Google Translate. Alright. Chang. Because, like, it detected that it was Chinese. Alright. Pronounce. Chang'a. 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 Okay. It right. doesn't the sound Chinese any better. One, well, the Chinese one is different. Like, if you listen to the Chinese versus the English. Did you mean this? Chang'e. Chang'e. I, I, I prefer that. Yeah. Chang'e. Okay. <laughs> the Chang'e for space station. That sounds yeah. not racist. Awesome. <laughs> But yeah, no, it sounds good. Well, it's not a space station. It's Liz just says, and JP's just letting you. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <coughs> God damn it. Anyways, uh, sorry, sorry about my it's coughing. I, I do have a cold and it sucks. Um, but anyways, so that should be pretty awesome. Speaking of awesome things, you should check out this awesome check. Yeah, you guys can follow me on Twitter and Facebook. At Shell Shock Cosplay, that's C H E L L E Shock Cosplay. You can see all my awesome cosplays and all the fun events I take part in, like the Knights of the Tempest, where the uh, Fort Collins own uh, theatrical and competitive jousting troupe. Um, you can follow us on Facebook, <coughs> Instagram, Twitter. Uh, just look up Knights of the Tempest. There you go. So, and I made that so it could be copy and pasted. Yes, thank you. Yeah, seemed to make too much sense. So there you go. If you guys want to check them out, my butt in gear and actually like do posts. <laughs> yeah, do that stuff. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I don't work at six a.m. Yeah, we're back to a normal Hello, schedule like, now. Yay! Huh? I said yeah. we're back to normal schedules now. <laughs> I literally, like, get off the line with you guys and just go to bed. <laughs> That's fair. Welcome to being old. <laughs> Welcome to being a fucking adult. <laughs> oh, you know, adult is relative. That's yeah. for sure. So. 
but... Oh, I lost my Mountain Dew downstairs. Not your Mountain Dew. Yeah, it's it's too far to walk dew. now. <laughs> we can go no further. Oh, um, but you know what? We have a mini fridge in the bathroom that has Mountain Dew in it. <laughs> I want you to explain the sentence you just said. <laughs> so Tony, he has really bad migraines sometimes. And, like, literally, like, the only thing that helps is, like, he sits in the shower for hours. <laughs> like, it's ridiculous. And drinks yeah, Mountain Dew? To drink, well, so, oh, it's got the caffeine in it that helps kick the migraine. Uh-huh. He does this weird thing where he mixes orange juice and Mountain Dew because, like, a nutritionist told him that, like, a glass of orange juice has, like, the the nutrients in it, like, is it... it Quates to a like a cup of coffee. This um, whole sentence, just conversation, like sounds so wild. Of energy based on the stuff that's actually in it. You, you um, just want but anyways, so he in his mind, like if he mixes the two, it's like double. <laughs> what? It's, Whatever it's, fucking it's, works, I guess. It's the most disgusting <laughs> thing, but like his migraines are like pukey migraines. Has um. Is he, he allergic? He do an orange juice drink because, like, it tastes better than just puke. <laughs> you should ask him. You should ask him if he's allergic to gluten. Uh, you know, he. It's very possible because sensitivities. We know a friend. We have a friend that is allergic to gluten, and it causes his brain to swell, and it makes oh. it, and it gives him major migraines. Interesting. So that might be something to look into. Yeah, for sure. So, but, so like, he always <laughs> joked about how, like, it would be so convenient to have a mini fridge in the bathroom for when he's all migrained out, or, like, so in the middle of the night, he doesn't have to go all the way downstairs to get milk and chug milk in the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. I think you guys should get, like, an acorn stair lift. He's like, ugh, <laughs> just, just sitting <laughs> in the chair. Yeah. So, we, like, we legit, so... For Christmas, so I, that's what I got him. I got him a mini fridge for the bathroom, so we have Mountain Dew in the bathroom. Fuck okay. it, whatever works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's silly, but it makes me happy. It makes yeah. him happy. <laughs> yeah. Um, Liz says I should put a freezer in my bedroom. Then ice cold temps make my migraines tolerable. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, our mini fridge actually has its own like separate freezer on the top. That's Price the one where, you know. where like the ice like builds up in it, and then you have to like chip away at it. That's kind of fun to do. I'm like, just like, you ever like do that and you get the whole chunk and you're like, awesome. My sister was like cleaning out the freezer one day and like she like gathered up. It's like it's snowing and she hit me with a snowball. I was like, what? I went outside. I was like, so snow out here. Oh. How'd you get you're, that? You're a liar. You're a wizard. <laughs> You're a wizard, Lizzie. That got weird. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, and I wouldn't freeze Brad in the process. Oh, does he get cold? I was like, <coughs> he likes he likes a decent temperature. You can keep mm. ice cream in the freezer, and then in the middle of the night, when you have an ice cream craving, you just go get some. See, this is why I can't have one in the fr- bedroom, because I would be fatter than I already am. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, danger. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> danger, Will Robinson, danger. Um, <coughs> anyways, so speaking of following things, you should follow us on YouTube. Uh, we are on there at SLYK Radio, so check us out. We are super cool, okay? Like, oh my god, totes awesome. Um, but yeah, so check that out. But coming up next is Slick Tube. Tube Slickers. Oh, uh, that sounds better with two people. <laughs> <laughs> so we can actually hear each other. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Like, I can hear you guys really well on this, too. That's sad. See, like, all together, <laughs> this just seems like a better system. <laughs> <laughs> the only downfall is, is I can't watch the Facebook video because I can't turn that volume off, and then I have all these voices in my head that's real, really hard to focus. How is uh, that different from normal? So it's, it's just like that, <laughs> that weird, like, stuttering app where you're trying to read, like, a phrase, and it kind of, like, echoes in yeah. your ear. 
I haven't heard of that. It's really delayed. And then I'm like, you need to show me what that that is. Was that real life? (laughs) Yeah. Was that just fantasy? (laughs) Caught in the landslide. (laughs) No escape from reality. Look into my eyes. (laughs) Look up to the sky. And see. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm not even, I'm not even. <laughs> the spoken foam of Queen. <laughs> um, what's up, Velasco? Liz says, Simpsons flash back. I wash myself with a rag on a stick. Why? What does that sound like? Because, I like, uh, Bart Simpson got, like, really fat. No, no, it was Lisa, like, when she, like, was dating, uh, that bully, <laughs> Nel- mm-hmm. Nelson. Nelson. And he's like, I wash myself with a rag on a stick. I remember that. Honey, now. take me to the library. I gotta rent me some stories. <laughs> yep, I know what you're talking about now. All right, all right. Um, anyways, Slick Tube. So, a series of unfortunate events has dropped their season two trailer, which I am excited for. Everyone should watch that show because it's fantastic. I liked it, and I like NPH as Count Olaf, but I honestly preferred Jim Carrey. I almost thought it was, like, looking at the trailer, I was like, that's that's almost Jim Carrey, but not. Well, yeah. He does, he does like, a pretty he does decent... really good, and he brings his own element to it, but I just, I really, really like Jim Carrey as Count Olaf. Yeah, he's I like them Jim both. Carrey. I mean, but both of them... Because I, I read the books afterwards, and I know... Mm-hmm you end up with kind of a, a, a washed version because you already saw the, the character actor. You're like, oh, that. Right. But even when you read the book, that the the character that both Neil Patrick Harris and Jim Carrey portray is Olaf. They do it very well. Like, it Because I went back through and I reread, like, descriptions and stuff because I was like, is this just me visualizing these two actors as that or am I really seeing this? But when you go through the character description, that's Olaf. Now I want to, like, CGI, like, Olaf from Frozen into all the scenes <laughs> of unfortunate events. That would be so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, hi, guys. Does this seem like a nightmare? <laughs> uh, do you want to build a nightmare? We can just torment wanna, two kids. Do you really? Do you want to stab a guy? <laughs> Anyways, do you want to fight a hell spawn? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Alaska. That would be fun. Um. So yeah, if you guys are excited for that, it's going to be dropping on March thirtieth. So coming soon. Um. And if you need something to watch between now and then, we watched a trailer earlier for what was it? How to fuck the world or something. Yes. <laughs> Hold on, I got this, I got this. Oh, the end of the fucking world. <laughs> it's a Netflix Yeah, it was original. a Netflix original. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I didn't understand what you were saying. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> What's he talking about? Um, so yeah, it looked pretty good. Uh, <coughs> I should just checking it out. But uh, yeah, so some sad news. Now that I am sad about this kind of stuff. Rick and Morty writer Ryan Ridley says that season four might not air until 2019. Sad panda. Wah, wah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I was reading the article and I guess like basically none of the writers have got their shit together and written anything. And like that is literally it. That sounds like literally Rick and Morty. Yeah. <laughs> Because, I mean, like, they had the last one, like, the season three, it was written eight months before it actually aired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, like, that's true. Is it, was it airing on Adult Swim? Mm, yes. Yeah. yeah, and I think it was, like, a Adult Swim, like, producers or executives were pushing it. was like, you guys need to put out a new season, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> mm-hmm. right. well, it was like, we'll make it when we're like... damn well ready. <laughs> You if heard it, it from Rick. Air till twenty nineteen, like that is like that'll be the longest like gap between seasons because the last one it was like eighteen months or something like that. Mm-hmm. I, oh, well, that seems crazy. Hopefully, who knows how long it'll be? <laughs> it'll be a long wait before 
season four of Rick and Morty comes out. We. <laughs> and there you go. But I don't know. Um, yeah. It's a, sad, it's a sad thing what because else? that thing is like taking off. It's like, wouldn't you, as a writer for the show, wouldn't you feel like <laughs> galvanized? It's like, oh man, so many people love it. Like, I think they have too much faith in their fan base. Like, they know people are going to still fucking watch it. Like, that's true. Gu- guilty. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> so it, it's just like it's like Game of Thrones. So, um, which could talk about real quick. Um, Game of Thrones yeah. isn't happening till 2019 either. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So. I mean, we got something to look forward to in 2019 for sure. So, plenty of stuff. Yeah. But yeah, so it's one of those things is that, I don't know, you, you got to kind of think, I know I've made this comparison before, Assassin's Creed. They waited a year, they pushed a year extra out so they could make sure they had proper content. So, right. So, that's, I right. mean. I get that for Game of Thrones, but Rick and Morty. But that's, well, that's the thing, though, is that you kept hearing from everyone who watched Rick and Morty. It was like, they, this felt rushed. This didn't feel like proper storyline. Yeah, but I wonder if, like, animation takes, like, so long. Oh, it does. It does. So I wonder, like, how big their team is. Like, for Rick and Morty, it's like, hey, this is I, your I team. I think there's four writers. But how many how many illustrators though? Yeah, animators. Well, and that's the thing is like, I like they're just even talk, talking like they haven't written anything yet, like nothing. Yeah. And the last one was eight months before it aired. Is when they finished writing. <coughs> so I mean, you never really know. So it's just one of those things. You you can you can just hope that it's better content. Mm-hmm. So you hope right. that the, the time frame leaves content. Yeah, I mean, like as I don't know 2017 was exactly good content, but you know, if 2017 they found their little their little niche. If 2017 was anything any indication, like if things should be in the oven for a little bit more, so you can <laughs> put, push out a proper product. <laughs> yep. Then please do. I like if it, if I have to wait till 2019 for like a bomb ass season. Yeah, that's fucking fine. <laughs> Yeah, it's or funny. or maybe if we'd have waited till 2019 for a really good Battlefront 2. <laughs> Mass Effect Andromeda, yeah. you know, four, four months, <laughs> six months down the line, maybe. Or like, <coughs> none of the bugs are out. Like, you play it now, that game would probably score decent, decently. But, mm-hmm. like, the way that it was released, I was like, oh, guys. Yeah. Guys, what are you doing with your lives? Yeah, exactly. DJ says you can't rush the Edel Mor- Evil Morty's timeline. Which, evil Morty. I mean, this someday we're gonna figure out where these things come from. And some such, such ones, <laughs> since they just like take their fucking time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. So back to Game of Thrones. DJ says George R. R. Martin doesn't seem to mind, which is true. Uh, hopefully, he lives that long. You get a can't keep playing my books. <laughs> And then right, uh, like, Tara's sad yeah, about yeah, the Game of Thrones. Hopefully, he lives that long, and hopefully, he fucking finishes his book. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. In the meantime, he put out the other. The, he put out another book. It's not like the continuance of the story, but it's like a. Oh God, my roommate just got it, and he was all excited. About it. Is it something like the Cimmerillion for like Lord yeah, of the Rings? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but I don't know. It's just I don't know. Patience, patience. <coughs> um. So yeah, gotta wait for till twenty nineteen for Game of Thrones, but there's something else we get before that. It is uh, actually available now on Netflix. It's Bill Nye Saves the Universe season two. Huh? No, Westworld. Is it Westworld? Oh wait, no, we're still. <laughs> oh yeah, Westworld season two is gonna be out. Uh, what time? End of this year? Uh, I think so. I think it's fall. Okay. Yeah. So later this year we're gonna have a continuation of. Uh, is it? Continuation, or is it more like a? It, it's a different world altogether. So what's the AMC? Scary. Oh, TV Walking series. Dead. TV oh, series. they they keeps changing per season. Uh, I don't. Something know. horror. Or American Horror Story. Oh, an anthology. Yep. Yeah, the where they change it every season. Yeah. Isn't, yeah. Isn't this season going to be something different from? Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's always different. 
Yeah. So, same actors oh, uh, type thing? They, they do. They do have the same actors. Yeah, they cross over from season to season. So, I mean, it's one of those things you just never really knew. Um, but yeah, no, Real I quick, mean... that book that I was talking about, it's called The Mystery Night. It's a graphic novel, and it's the storytelling of Dunk and Egg novellas from, uh, like... They they talk about them in like their lore in Game of Thrones. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, who's Duncan Eggs? I was like, I have no idea who you're talking about, lady. Like, I had a quail egg, egg earlier. It tasted weird. Aegon. Um, oh, Targaryen. Yeah, and Dunk is one of the. I think one of the like his friends or something. I don't remember what it all is. Okay. There's so much <laughs> fucking like lore in relationships, but it's like they're adventures mm -hmm. and it's a prequel of sorts yeah i get you see dj had you we would have gotten there eventually eventually <laughs> um like i want to be in the commenting but like i just can't deal with all the voices <laughs> <laughs> so many voices it's too much i'm like <coughs> half tempted to like dig out my kindle and pull it up that way <laughs> your kindle's probably yeah but it probably dead. probably need to update yeah. As well. Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> I it'll, honestly don't think I've. It's probably not been powered on in over a year. It'll probably it'll be like forty five minutes before the damn thing even charges enough to turn on. Mm -hmm. I don't know right. what it is with Kindles, but it's like I'm gonna plug this in. One hour yeah, later, why is it still dead? I could get on my work phone. No. It's ridiculous. So, um. Anyways, uh, yeah, Bill Nye the Science Guy. JP was excited for that Bill, one. Bill, 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 Bill. <laughs> yeah, Bill Nye Saves the World Season 2 is actually live on Netflix. I totally forgot. I was like, what's Netflix have for me? Because Crunchyroll <laughs> was out of things for me to watch. <laughs> I, was, I was like, oh, there's not new any new seasons. I'm like, what's Netflix have? I'm like, Bill yeah. Nye Saves the World. Did you the watch? Fir first episode is about marijuana. Oh, nice. Nice. There should be more research done into it. Oh, yeah. But that's what he's... But, every, but it's all, all the research is federally funded, so that's why you can't get any. Because the government's not going to be like, oh, here's more money. And then you got that one douchebag who's trying to, like, get rid of it so that states don't have their own availability or possibility of legalizing marijuana. If, if they just, like, federally had it done, like, all the medical marijuana could be grown by a few growers. It would be like, <laughs> they would have separate strains. Like, Israel, like, they like the entire country is like medical marijuana like approved mm -hmm. and they have a secret location that they have where they grow tons i yeah. mean no shitting you tons of marijuana i believe it i <laughs> believe it <coughs> so it's just one of those things it needs to happen it needs to happen um there's too many benefits for it i don't even smoke and it still needs to fucking happen so anyways um, but yeah, so make sure you check that out. Season one was pretty awesome. Um, people get all whiny and complaining, like, oh, why is he like, why is he talking about his own political agenda? Um, here's the thing. Because he's Bill Nye and he has his own fucking TV show and he can? Well, yeah, that's the thing. So he, he's, it's his own TV show, so he gets to do whatever the fuck he wants. Two, I don't know if you've paid attention to politics at all recently, but it's all about insulting Science, because our freaking politicians are morons. So fuck anyone who says that. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, the mascara Gal Gadot is in charge of production there. Huh? Was it? I, what are you talking about? What's going on? I don't know what he's talking about. You? <laughs> I think he just wanted to type Gal Gadot, which is fine with me. I mean, just little images pop up in my head, and then I move on with my day. Um, Google deep fakes Gal Gadot. I will say no more. Um, so, uh, movies. <clears throat> um, so, Mom and Dad movie that JP had recently told me about that looks awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a Nick Cage movie, right? Yes. It is a Nick Cage movie where Nick Cage becomes uncaged. Like, all the memes that you've seen about... <coughs> you got him! 
all the memes you've bitch. seen about like Nick Cage, <coughs> this cranks it up to eleven. Like I just the, just watching the trailer makes me excited for it. It looks so <laughs> awesome. Take um, Home Alone and mix it with The Purge. Yeah, I think, and I think you would get this movie. <laughs> yep, I mean it's just so. Post it. It's um. Oh yeah, I got you. So it's based. Like all the parents are gone. Well, no. So the parents lose their like shit, and the uh, title of the movie, or the uh, the catchphrase of the movie is "They brought you into this world so they can take <laughs> you out." Yeah. And so all the parents are trying to kill their kids. Oh God. <clears throat> yeah, it just looks. Fantastic. Yeah, so, so the kid. It totally is. I'm watching the trailer right now. It, he is totally just smashing shit. I, and like, you should hear it with audio. It is like, put your right leg again. <laughs> <laughs> it is so awesome. I mean, I'm thoroughly excited for this movie to come out. Um, it's already out. I think you can watch it. It's out already. I oh, I thought it. it came out like next month. Shit. It's 2017, so I think you can watch it now. Like, you go to Amazon, I think you. Rent it or buy it. Well, we have Prime, so might be able to just watch the damn thing. Wait, one. We're looking. <laughs> We're finding out right now. But yes, like this movie is like I heard people talking about it. I was like, wait, I love Nick Cage. I haven't heard anything about this movie. Apparently, this was like an independent film that uh, debuted in like. So this says release date January nineteenth, twenty eighteen. Damn it. Yeah, I was gonna say the trailer said twenty eighteen. Damn it. So there's a mom and dad that's 2017. So, but yeah, it's coming soon. It's coming soon. I don't know. Let's see. It was released like in a remote or like a film festival. Yeah, I mean. We're not going to get it out on DVD. Well, that was like that movie Raw. Me and Hannah watched it like a year before it came out. Or maybe not a year. Like like a good eight months. Before it was able to rent. Yeah, stuff. before you could rent, before you could see it anywhere. But I was just like, oh my god, this Nick Cage film. It was like, oh, look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, it was just, it, it looks like, awesome. Nick Cage was at the premiere of this, like, at the film festival, and, like, people were saying, like, he was just laughing the whole time. Yeah. Because he knows how ridiculous it was. <laughs> <laughs> Even the crappiest Rotten Tomatoes say give it an 81%. So, yeah. Um, so I tried to find out on Fandango where it's going to be released, but I don't think it's coming out on theaters, so this probably is going to be an online only. It's going to be an STD. <laughs> can't use that anymore because we don't have DVDs. Straight to DVD. Straight to digital. Straight to digital. There you go. Yeah, Thank you, Shell. There you go. Um, STD. I just, You're welcome. So I, I buy it. We buy Blu-rays. and. Thank, thank me for giving you STD. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Well, that, that's that, the first. <laughs> that's, that's a link for life. <laughs> it's a gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> All year long, every year. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I'm back! Um... Yeah, so check that out. Looks awesome. Super excited. Uh, yeah. So, stuff that's coming out. Animaniacs. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, if you guys... I'm excited about this. Yeah. Yeah. I've been paying attention at all. I think we talked about this on the show in an assumption that was coming back. Yeah, that, it, that they were talking about it. But it's actually happening. Uh, yeah, it's actually happening. So they're getting a TV <coughs> reboot. And I know we talked about how, like... Hulu and Warner Brothers and all, all those uh, companies are joining forces to bring, like, more content. Mm-hmm. Um, so, right now, Hulu actually has released um, all of the original Animaniacs, as well as uh, a few of the other animated Warner Brothers shows. Um, but they have ordered two seasons of the new Animaniacs, and Steven Spielberg will be returning as the executive producer. Wow. Now, I was looking to see if, like, Rob Paulson and all those guys would be back as the cast. I would imagine so. Yeah, they'd have to reprise like, the he, role. He, he, yeah. I would, yeah, I would imagine so. Like, I mean, he, he's doing the Talking Tunes show on Nerdist right now, so I yep. don't see why not. Mm-hmm. Um, the only bad news is it's not <coughs> slated to air until 2020. So far away. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, but it, it it's up for two seasons. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, we so we got yeah. stuff coming. Twenty 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 and then twenty twenty one, or maybe if it's early enough in twenty twenty, you might get it in later twenty twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we never know. Hopefully, it's super awesome and excited and just like the original and not CGI, not CGI, not CGI. Don't do it. If you watch this, don't do CGI. Please don't. I think I've made my point. <laughs> Uh, don't ruby it, please. Don't, don't berserk it. Don't fuck it up. Yeah, berserk is. Uh, oh my god. Just read Matt the. Ke- Matt keeps just, telling me he's like, it's, you can watch it. You get past it. I'm like, I can't. What ruby or uh, berserk? Berserk. I I read the manga, so I'm just like, I read the manga. I'm good. I was like, <laughs> I like I, I like I how everything manga. looks up here. Yeah. But then when I see it, it just like it grinds against me. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. It, just, it hurts. It's like, like it's the, infuriating. It's like a weird clock mechanism where the gears don't quite work well. <laughs> yep. Where it's like hitting each other and it's just like stuttering. <laughs> it's like exactly, uh, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Don't mess it up. DJ asks, are they including additional skits like Mafia Pigeons, Pinky in the Brain, and Good yeah, Idea, yeah, Bad they Idea? Have, they have to. <laughs> Shell says yeah. yes. Shell Thank says you. Yes. yes. So. <laughs> The Don says that he wants to, <laughs> to have part of you. He will forgive you if he kisses Fezzeth. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> that was a great part of growing up. Back when it cartoons did, were good. Did they have good idea, bad idea, or was that Freakazoid? I think that uh, might have been Freakazoid. Freakazoid, and they are actually talking that because this has already been ordered for, free, for two seasons, they're pretty sure that Freakazoid will be next. Da, 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 freakazoid, freakazoid. <laughs> and away! <laughs> um, but, it's going to be so know, weird. JP, I know you said you were running out of things to watch on Hulu. Like I said, as of today, the original Animaniacs yeah, yeah, is I, on I Hulu. And I'm just like, I'm trying to find like my password for it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to figure out how to log in. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, how's that, guys? How does... How does that sound, guys? It sounded a little weak. I gotta be, yeah, it was weak. I've heard much better out of your show. I know. It was kind of, it was not a good one. But, I mean, like, clarity-wise. Was it clear? It was, it was pretty the, clear. I mean, you, you heard, the, you heard. With the, with the uh, iPhone headphones. It was enough that you could really hear, like, the forcefulness of it. Like, you like, I need to get this burp out. But, there was but no it's bass. weak. <laughs> no bass. Yeah, yeah. Was, okay. Cause we're all about that base. No rebels. I like I like my burps like I like my booties, deep and big. And I like my coffee like I like my metal. Sugary and light colored. <laughs> Rested. <laughs> what? Uh, old, <laughs> day old. <laughs> Hard. Um, Heavy. In a pot. Classic. In a pot. Classic. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> so yeah but um our last bit on the segment for uh, this show we have the craft brew in review in review are you asking me because it sounds like you are question marks <laughs> are we reviewing something maybe so what are we drinking again we are drinking cod your mom it's a saison from caution brewing company saison. and it is delicious Um, it's slightly sweet, um, not, it's not overly carbonated like some Saisons do try to do, um, when they're not as effervescent. I don't know why you want. (laughs) Uh, does it taste like beer? Not really. Yeah, it's, it, it is, it's kind of lacking the beer taste that I normally get out of Saisons. Some Saisons have like a, a, a comfortable hops to it. This one's missing. It's a little more juicy. Um, yeah, there's no bite like to a it booty. after all. Like a booty. No bite. Uh, yeah. I, I realize I say um a lot once we get to the like, craft root, because I'm really trying to, like, fancy <laughs> words. <clears throat> so. It's anti establishmentarianism <laughs> Hey, what's up? Well, you know what? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. 
Even though it sounds a bit something quite atrocious. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's it's a good tasting beer. It's definitely light. Good flavor. Not so beery. But I'm picky with my saisons. I'm going to hang around a three and a half. This is the middle of the road for me. It's like, I've had better saisons mostly from Funkworks. Like, yeah. they've got some really good ones. It's hard uh, to compare yeah, this to is like mi- I was like, three. I was like, yes, it's a, it's a drinkable saison. Three. Yeah. It's like, nothing wrong with that score. No. It's just like, if they, someone offered me, it's like, oh, I've got this and this. And I was like, mm. Yeah, you really got, have to I've think. Got, I've got I've got light beer and, and a saison. I'd probably take this saison over. Mm-hmm. I, I would take this beer. over a uh, pale ale, personally. Well, you don't like pale, I know. pale ales for I the know. most part, I know. anyway. I, just, I, I, I do like some pale ales, but I would say I'd drink this over a pale ale. <laughs> I definitely drink it over an IPA, unless it's a Gold Camp IPA. To be fair, they know how to make IPAs. Yep. Um, Which they just yeah. had their third year anniversary. Did they just have it? Or are they gonna have it? <laughs> I think they're gonna have it. Jump in the gun! Jump in the gun, JP. Hold on. Gold Camp Brewing Company. <laughs> Open up. Open up, says Shell, me. Shell, did you uh, partake in the gold camp when you were living here still? Or No. Was that not around when... No, it was around while uh, she was here. Oh, no, it was. I just didn't. Yeah. Yeah, she never hung came to that one, because we did a live show at gold camp. That was me and Chris. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so the third anniversary for gold camp brewing is going to be in two days on January 6th. So make sure you check that out. I definitely will be. I mean, no reason not to. Yeah. <laughs> so if you guys want to, please do. They're awesome. You can check them out at 1007 South Tejon in Colorado Springs. So Hours? Uh, 4 to whenever. 4 p.m. to close? I think so. Wow, that's open late. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's 4 p.m. to 10, but if they're serving beer, they just stay. Yeah. So there's nothing that really stops them from being open. Interesting. Yes. So I will be there after I get my decent rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, JP already oh. sucks at responding to text messages on this day off. It's now bad. there will be no response. No. <laughs> so you can't respond, but I don't want. <laughs> yeah. JP's efficient at work, like painfully efficient. Like, you don't try to compare yourself to JP. You just do the best you can. Now he's going to get a proper night's sleep. I'm worried. Let's show up at like nine. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> you? No? All right. I'm going back home. <laughs> I need a nap. Why isn't JP showing up to work anymore? He said he wants to work from home. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, anyways, I'm jealous. Um, but back to the beer, we're looking at a solid 3.25, which is still a good score from us. It's uh, not failing. No, far from failing. Far from failing. Why did we call this show Who Needs Net Neutrality? You had a joke. Oh, it's because, like, uh, net neutrality, because you pay for slower speeds. But Intel went and did that anyway, because after this update, it slows you down anyway. There we go. <laughs> That's <Not> free. <laughs> It took us 20 minutes to come with a show title, and we forgot the joke. And we're, we're full circle. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> got him. <coughs> Fuck. I'm Post. being punished for saying that. <laughs> Post dying. <laughs> I don't want to die. I'm not ready. I'm not dead. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> um, but if you guys are wondering why we're scoring our beers... Uh, that's because you can follow us on Untap. That's U N T A P P D. It's the website and app. P P where you can score your beers and share your thoughts with others and get great suggestions on beer. Check them out at untap.com or get the app from the Apple or Android store. Well, I didn't score it. <laughs> well, we should. Sounds like Tiny Tim. I like to score. <laughs> it's great. Uh. <laughs> <coughs> I was gonna die. I'm gonna die. It's gonna be the worst. But it's okay because I can talk like this when I'm sick. Um. 
it sounds weird hearing my regular voice after just a bunch of stupid, <laughs> stupid blimey yeah. accents. <laughs> um, but you know it's not stupid? Or what is, actually, you know what is stupid? Not buying your hangings. I'm not saying you're stupid. But treat your phone with respect. Because you just dropped a lot of money on it. So go to our website, solikeyouknow.com. <laughs> Click on the link on the right-hand side and order your hangings today. That's four ninety nine with free shipping. That's as free shipping, okay? So go pick that up. It's worth it. Oh, uh, shit. Where is the outro? It disappeared! Why does it keep disappearing? Why does that happen? I don't know. You have it. That's all that matters. I don't. You do. It's right there. It's like outro. Uh-huh. But it's not... You have to do the... You have to start speaking. <laughs> the music <laughs> plays. Hold on. I got the... the this PC... Music. I swear. No. They've been doing this for years. Oh, stop. Oh, there it is. It just went... It's It's gone AWOL. No, it's in the corner. What corner? Left. Left? That says intro and slick radio intro. Oh, interesting. I don't... Fuck it, I'm just going to play it from here. Anyways, guys. um, Thanks for listening. Don't forget, we put out new episodes every Thursday at 9.30 Mountain Standard Time right here on Spreaker and Facebook.com at SLYK Radio. And if you could, mash that wonderful like button down in the corner. Like us, love us, show us some joy. Comment after the show. Just do some stuff. And if you're not on Facebook, head over to Spreaker and check it out there as well. So, anyways, guys. Do you guys have empty space on your iPhone or Android phone that you're just dying to fill up? Download the Spreaker app and subscribe to our podcast or stream us on Stitcher Smart Radio, the smarter way to listen to radio. New shows every Thursday. So, like you know, is not responsible for anything. Ever. Ever. Produced by Slick Solutions somewhere in Colorado. And so, like you know, it's completely wasteless. Like your opinion. Just kidding. We care. But your government doesn't. You really had to scroll down for that? I did <laughs> You didn't say it! I didn't know! <laughs> Anyways, guys. He cares. Okay. He cared enough to scroll down. I'm a scroll right. <laughs> I shouldn't say that out loud. Anyways, we love you guys. Have a wonderful evening. Afina Sen. Peace.